Hello humans, welcome to another episode of Box of Tricks. JP, what's in the box? In my box today yes. is... <gasps> it's a... Drain blaster. <laughs> I've been having problems with my drains. <laughs> So this is a drain blaster. So this is a way to deliver high pressure air uh, through your drain. Aha, uh -huh. and I recognize this device. We've used this before, haven't we? Have. we? Yes. yes, so we've used this to deliver dust through a pipe for our fireballs episode. Yes. So they're very, very good to give just a very punchy uh, shot of air through either hose or tubing that you can adapt to the front here. Amazing. Okay, so so we've obviously we've seen it in use for um, for fireballs for yep. blasting powders into the air. So before we talk about potential other uses, let's say a little. So what is it that you think is so great about this, uh, as opposed to perhaps something else that you could use for such a? a yeah, a sure. Um, it's very cheap. It's very accessible. Um, a lot of online stockists supply such things. There seems to be a few different versions on the same product. Again, this is intended for drain clearance and things. Yeah, domestic use. Domestic use. So it's it's relatively cheap. I, this one in particular was quite cheap. This was um, under ten pounds, so or under ten US dollars. Right. Okay. Equivalent. Super cheap because essentially for something to fire some compressed air. If you if you're talking about using canisters and compressed air stuff starts getting expensive and I suppose mildly kind of a little bit like oh am I ready to be using a compressed air canister and working yeah, with that kind it, of equipment. It, it can be yes and where this sits quite nicely is even, even if you end up using it as a backup um, it's a really nice handy little device that keeps things completely uncomplicated. Yes. So I'm a big believer in if you can minimize the moving parts or the complexity of a rig or a device uh, sometimes the better, yeah. because it, especially for a backup, if you just yeah. need something that you know is going to, it may not achieve the final result that you are after, but it will get you close enough that you can adapt things on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is where this is great. Um, it's very simple operation. You just literally pump up the device, which fills the chamber inside. Yep. And then when your desired pressure is obtained, you just fire the air out the front. There's not a lot to go wrong there, is there? No. Amazing. Okay, so what else might we use such a thing for? Well, because it has that really nice punch of air that's very, very focused in the outlet here. Again, you can extend it using hose or, or, or tubing and things like that. So on top of it being very good to displace dust or powder, yep. it's very, very good at displacing water, water. or fluids. Or fluids. <laughs> Okay, and the displacement of fluids, that's an interesting notion. Yes. So, um, obviously where my brain goes is blood. Yes. Yes. So we could do some really nasty splatter work with this. That's right. So, mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of silicon tubing here. Of course you have. <laughs> um, and on the attachment, does it come with kind of, you know, adapters or anything like that? Is that something people would have to make themselves? Uh, it comes with this molded end so it's it's designed to use with the attachments that, that come with it which is again more orientated towards drains and plumbing plumbing boring stuff so but what's nice about it is it's got this molded tip to it yeah. which actually seats really nicely ha, ha, ha. over the correct diameter silicon amazing hose. so this is just some bog standard silicon tube that you've got where would you find something like that Again, very easy to find online. It's usually used for air or um, uh, fuel line applications oh, if wow, you're okay. draining a fuel tank, things like right, that. Right, right, right. The advantage of using silicon is it's flexible. It's semi-opaque, so when you can fill the actual hose itself with fluids or powders, you can actually see how much you've got in, nice. in the yep, tube. Nice, that's handy. And then you've got a little attachment on the end here. Yeah, so that's just a, a plastic connector that was molded. I just molded a little nozzle with some epoxy putty to make a, a kind of 
head to it. Oh, nice. Good work. A thing worth mentioning is that this is great at supplying the air. Yes. So this isn't really intended or can't really be adapted that easily to contain the fluid or the powder itself. So if you can imagine this is the, the piston or the air delivery device, yes. and then you load your water or your dust either within the tube itself, mm -hmm. or if you've got an end that has similar to our fireballs episode, mm. where it acts as a, a, chamber, a cup there. chamber yeah. that can then be displaced by the air going into it. This is so great. And as I say, we've demonstrated it with the fireballs, but uh, other applications are available. Um, so <laughs> we should probably go and do a demonstration, shouldn't we? I think so. As we're going with the fluids uh, of the red kind, I think it's best that we take this outside. <laughs> successful test everyone thanks um, I think we can agree that that works yeah yeah fluids are a winner from the pump gun fantastic um, so all that remains to say is uh, stay tuned because we're actually we're doing a little extra episode where you can actually follow us getting that shot for a bit of a giggle because you know why wouldn't you you know do do what you got to do like subscribe follow on the socials we're running a patreon as well so please do support us there if you can it would be so much appreciated and it's going to help keep this channel alive well that's about it from us it's been a pleasure can it oh thanks you uh got red on you no, yeah. no.